Hi, my name's Zach. Hi, I'm Katie. So, Katie, what do you do here in Ithaca? I'm a physics grad student. Oh, that's great. Hey, my friends just walked in. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh. Huh, physics, huh? Okay. What are you gonna do with that? Oh. Oh. Oh, man. I hated physics in high school. Oh my god. You must be so smart. Oh, have you ever seen the Big Bang Theory? Is that what physicists are actually like? I bet it is. I mean, no offense. Is it true that friction is just like something that scientists made up because their answers were wrong? Physics. Awesome. Okay, I was on this webpage the other day and it was like, I got all these crazy ideas about time travel and I just want to bounce a few of them off you here, okay? So like, there are, there are wormholes, right? And you can like go into one and you come out like in, like in the Middle Ages or something, right? Why are you guys making a black hole in Europe? I think that's a really bad idea. Oh man, I just had a physics class that I had to take. My TA was so awful. God, what was his name? I think it was Sergey. Isn't that a science that was developed by like a bunch of dead white guys? I thought Einstein like already took care of physics. My uncle used to do physics, but then he like went insane. We don't talk to him anymore. Oh, my aunt's a physician. Uh, no, I'm a physicist. Oh. Are there like any other girls in physics or is it just you? Oh my God, <laughs> me too, physics for life. So, uh, what are you like doing tomorrow night? Maybe we could go get a coffee or something. Thank you so much, Zach, for helping me to make this video. My only regret is that I didn't get it onto the interwebs sooner. But now it is, and I hope everyone else finds it as hilarious as I do, because I have to admit, I was cracking up the entire time I was editing this video together. Those of you that aren't physicists or scientists may be wondering how realistic these reactions are. And yes, we did have some fun and exaggerate a little bit with them, but pretty much all of them are based on responses that either we have personally experienced or that our friends have experienced, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> you know, it really does bring up this larger question of how to respond when you're in a casual conversation with someone and your jobs come up and you don't particularly like the other person's job or you have some bad associations with it for whatever reason. What's the proper response? And I personally think polite interest is the way to go. I think this could be an interesting discussion to have down in the comments. So first, I'd like to know what your gut reaction is when you learn that someone is a physicist or even a scientist. We can be pretty broad in this discussion. And my second question is something I don't know the answer to, and it's basically, when did society get so afraid of science? And I don't mean afraid in some sort of fundamentalist religious sense. I mean afraid in the sense that it just seems completely inaccessible unless you're one of the initiated who's gone through all the schooling. I don't think science needs to be that way, but it definitely has that aura about it. And I guess I'm also interested in whether this phenomenon happens in other fields that aren't science or engineering or math. Because, you know, that is all I'm familiar with. So I look forward to hearing your thoughts down in the comments. And if you haven't had enough Zach, and let's face it, we have not had enough Zach, you can watch this bonus video and also check out his blog, which I've posted below. It's basically a compilation of all of the emails that he sends to our department every week announcing the grad student coffee hour. They're pretty great. Until next time, this is Katie Mack, the physics hack. You have my dad to thank for that one.